Close to 50 people took part in this one-day fencing school held at Russellville in Logan County. The morning was classroom instruction, and then the group moved outdoors in the afternoon to a farm to see the fencing principles they learned put into practice. Industry experts demonstrated some of the latest equipment for driving fence posts in the ground. How to properly brace fencing with high tensile wire and using the right insulation to protect and preserve electric fences for long life. The information covered is what brought Butch King to the fencing school, who has had a variety of livestock from hogs, cattle, and goats. I like going here and talking to other people, uh, and you always learn. I always try to target on four or five things that I can go back and kind of evaluate, am I doing it this way? Could I do it a better way? And you'll see real quick it's tough. The latter part of the day was designed for participants to get some hands-on experience using the techniques demonstrated by the experts. University of Kentucky Extension Forage Specialist Chris Toich, who organized the fencing school, said it's important to learn good fencing techniques to last the test of time. If you've ever driven around the countryside, there's a lot of fence, but, but not well-constructed fence. And one of the goals of this school was to help people get the basics of fencing down so that they can build a strong, durable fence that's going to last 25 or 30 years. Fencing's always been one of those things that uh, it's a pastime, you, it's hard work. Uh, it's something, as a kid, I never looked forward to doing fencing. So having, uh, being able to see the new ways to do it, new technologies to make it easier, to make it safer, uh, and overall boost our quality of fencing is always a great thing. Now, if you own livestock, you know that you gotta have fencing. It's a necessary evil. Something that you may not necessarily enjoy doing, but something that is a must have. A month and a half ago, my wife was ready to sell the farm and all the cows. Uh, I was away for a week or 10 days uh, with some work-related stuff, and the cows got out four or five times. She said, I'm through with it. I'm done with it. You've got to do something about these fences. Butch King says he plans to take what he learned at the fencing school and put it to use on his farm, hopefully saving his marriage in the process. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.